Hey there, Next with Hackers here. In this video, we're going to go over a new feature of Docker Compose v2 called Optional Depends On. Now, technically, it's been available since April 2022 when Docker G8 or basically made Docker v2 generally available. However, back in June 2023, Docker released 2.19, which is uh, you know a version of Docker v2, and it no longer allowed Optional Depends On. Basically, Docker would throw an error if you're trying to use Docker Compose profiles and you had something like Depends On, but you didn't want to start some of those dependent services. Uh, prior to that, it would basically just silently fail, kind of giving you the feature of optional depends on. However, back in July 2023, which at the time of this video was a couple of weeks ago, Docker introduced version 2.20.2, which has a new feature that explicitly allows you to define required property on depends on, which will default to true, but you can also set it to false, giving you back optional depends on. And now it's not classified as a bug. It's basically a first class feature. So that's a little snippet of YAML that we're taking a look at here. This is from one of my example Dockerized apps here. It's up available on GitHub. I'll leave a link to this one in the description. I've got example apps for uh, Flask, Rails, Django, Node, Phoenix. So feel free to check them out if you'd like here. This is the application that's running. In this example app, it's running Flask, Celery, Redis, uh, Postgres, as well as Tailwind and ES Build. But, you know, I've done videos in the past around Docker Compose profiles, but we can do a quick drive-by just to see how they work here. So in this example here, you know, I've got all of these different profiles starting, basically the whole stack. But, uh, you know, let's say in production, you know, maybe you're using a hosted version of Redis and a hosted version of Postgres, and you don't want those to start. You know, that's a really good use case here of uh, optional depends on, or maybe in development, you know, you've got your ES build and Tailwind watchers going, but in production, you wouldn't want the assets to be started as well. So, but let me go and do a Docker Compose up here and we can see, you know, it only started these four containers here, Postgres and Redis didn't start. Now, in this case, Celery, which depends on Redis is going to fail. It's trying to connect to Redis, which actually doesn't exist here, but uh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want, right? In production, I'd be using a managed version of Redis, potentially, theoretically, on a single server deploy for some of my projects, I probably wouldn't, but like a managed Postgres, like sure, maybe you want to have that set up, right? So you don't have to worry about uh, managing your own database in production, or maybe you want to have two web servers on different server. Like basically there's a lot of reasons why you may want to do this. And uh, it's awesome that this is now available. Now, what this does mean though, is that uh, for my example applications, you will need to be running Docker Compose 2.20.2 to use this feature here, because if you try to use these uh, this new required property here, it's just not going to work. Uh, you'll have like a property not found error. But um, yeah, if you're using something like Docker 2.19 and you just wanted to try to do uh, depends on by just modifying these profiles and you'll get an error from Docker Compose saying that uh, dependent services need to be started. So kind of really important that you do update to 2.20.2. Yeah, and, and again, if you want these things to be required true instead of false, then in fact, you can actually go back to the shorthand syntax like this, where you can just do, you know, depends on, and then you can put in Postgres or uh, Redis or whatever you'd like here, right? It doesn't really matter uh, because this will default to require true. But if you want them optional, like I do here in all my projects, then uh, cool. Yeah, you're all set up and ready to go with that one. And by the way, in case you're wondering, you do have access now to Docker Compose 2.20.2 in Docker Desktop here. So I have a link to that one. And uh, you can see here, this version 4.22.0 happens to have Docker Compose uh, 2.20.2. So if you have an, a newer version or this specific version, you're good to go here. You know, if you're using something like native Linux and you're not using Docker Desktop, although there is uh, a Linux port available for Docker Desktop, you know, it, it, this, this version of Docker Compose is available basically whether or not you use Docker Desktop. So that's all good to go. Uh, if you're curious here how all of this came to be here, I did create an issue here for a proposal on the Docker Compose specification here. Basically allow optional depends on uh, when using profiles here. And, you know, I don't want to go over this whole entire uh, issue here because there's like quite a bit of conversation back and forth, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know, I laid out basically, you know, the problem I'm trying to solve here with optional depends on, gave a solution that looks like sort of maybe reasonable here. And, you know, it takes advantage of using Docker Compose profiles and, and all this stuff here. So, yeah, I don't know. I kind of threw around some potential ideas here, right? We can have required being true or false here. Uh, maybe, you know, another idea there was to have something like a necessity, and then it could be optional or required, or it could be something else. I kind of thought maybe this would be a little bit more future-proof in case there happens to be a third state there. But they ran with uh, the Boolean required true or false, within my, which in my opinion is uh, pretty reasonable. Although I really wish that they made uh, required false the default because then we can actually go back to using the list syntax here. And then that syntax would work with uh, any version of Docker Compose. You know, it, when, I have, when we have it set up like this, it's like, you know, these projects now need to be using Docker Compose 2.20.2. Uh, but anyways, I'm happy that a solution 
was found here. Eventually, someone did the work to actually implement the specification here. And uh, yeah, we're all good. You know, and these are one of those like temporary problems, right? There's going to be a little bit of potential pain where, you know, maybe you need to update your Docker Compose version a little bit sooner than you'd like. But um, yeah, I mean, in a couple of months, all this stuff is going to blow away anyways. And most folks will be using version 2.20.2 or above where the stuff like this will be common ground. Uh, but with that said, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I really do like using Docker Compose in production. And I feel like optional depends on is a very nice feature to have. Really happy now that Docker actually has this set up as an official feature. And and it's not technically just a bug that happens to work. But with that said, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you're using this feature or plan to use this feature, or is this something that you just learned today? Basically a TIL, like today I learned. Uh, with that said, also, yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really, really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.